Good day students and welcome back to Succeed in Computer Practice with Mr. H. In this tutorial, we're going to do a few text function formulas. All right, so this is called question eight and you will find this question paper in the description section of this tutorial, as well as the data file that you would be able to use. Now I'm going to skip quest number one up to number number eight and we're just going to focus on the formulas formulas a to e which is formula a make use of the appropriate formula or function to combine the contents of cells b4 and c4 you need to go and determine which id number has too many digits we have to use a text function to display the id number from the left the first four the first six digits of the of the id number from the left we have to go and determine whether a person is male or female if the gender code is equal to five that's a if calculation and then we have to use make use of a count function to determine how many work shifts in an employee must all right so here i have the the spreadsheet in front of me so over here we are going to combine the initial and the surname and we're going to use the concatenate function to do that or formula to do that we are going to determine how many id numbers we have here and as you can see one of the id numbers is too long or quite longer than the others and we're going to have to go and determine how long that is by using a formula and then over here we have gender codes where five indicates a male and zeros indicates a female and we have to use this information to determine whether a person is male or female before that we have to determine based on the id the first six digits of the id number what is the person's date of birth and then we're going to use a count formula to determine how many work shifts a person has missed in other words we have to go and count these open spaces so first of all we're going to combine the initial and the surname and we use something that's called concatenate the concatenate formula to do that all right so what we do is you can either manually insert the function equals concatenate like that and then you take your first cell, you divide it by a semicolon, and you take your second cell and you close your formula, and then you have combined the two. But there's something missing here, or there's something wrong with this. There needs to be a space between the initial and the surname. And to do that, you basically have to go and insert the space. So I'm gonna delete this, I'm going to start from scratch. Equals initial, sorry, equals concatenate. Open bracket. Initial. Semicolon. Inverted comma. We want to use inverted commas when we have to insert letters or spaces in our formula. Space inverted comma semicolon because we're not done with that part of the formula second part of the formula the surname close your bracket press enter all right that's the manual way then we can also use the automatic way by using a function as part of our as part of our function library we can click on formulas insert function and we're looking for the concatenate concatenate formula once we found it we find it we can click on ok then we get our function argument box and it's just asking us for two things what is your first set of information and what is your second set of information all right then we get the same answer that we got first initially all right so how do we fix that 
remember we want to insert a space in between so go back to our insert function i'm going to delete this delete this and once you click on the second option let me close this entirely so insert function concatenate okay what you want to do is you don't want two blocks you want three so once you click on the second one or the last one you're going to get a third one if you click on the third one you're going to get a fourth one and so forth and so on but i actually just want three all right so one two and then you get a third one in the first first space we're going to put in our first initial in the second space we're going to insert the actual space remember we want inverted comma space inverted comma in our third section we're going to insert the surname then you click ok and there's your answer copy the formula and there's the rest of your information all right next question what is the total id numbers we want to go we want to determine how long is this id number all right how long is it and for that we need to determine the length the length so what we're going to do is we're going to use the len the len formula insert len go there it is click ok and there's only one criteria what i what cell are you using and it's already giving me an answer there it's 14. now in south africa we have our id numbers are 13 digits long so this one has 14 digits so this one is quite incorrect but if we copy the formula down we will see that the rest of the id numbers are all 13 digits except the first one so we've determined the length of the id number by using the len or the len formula all right next date of birth now for this one we want to determine the first six digits of the id number now we know in south africa that the first six digits of id numbers is usually the date of birth the year the month and the day so that is what we're going to use and the formula that we're going to use is left let's just quickly go back to our question and the question specifies make use of a text function to display the first six digits of the id number from the left from the left all right so let's go there so we're going to use the left um, formula so it is equals left open bracket All right, what is it? We can use the, we can type it in there or we can use the insert function, left, all right, left, or we can search for text functions, let's see. And the text functions, we have something called a mid. A right and a left. In fact, all of these are text functions. There's concatenate, there's number value, mid, um, search, find, value, trim, upper. To create to change some to change text into uppercase right left ripped remember the ripped one that we did earlier that's also a text function len the length that's a text function so even a lookup is a text function so if you are working with text functions all you need to do is you just type in your search box text and you will get all the text functions that you are going to possibly need. So in this case, it's the left 
fix function. You can physically just type in left if, if you know that is what you're looking for. And you're going to find it and you click on OK. And the left function or the, this particular function is asking you what text are you working with? I'm working with this text. How many number of characters are you looking for from the left? I'm looking for six characters from the left. And then you click OK. And there's your answer. What if they wanted the first six digits from the right? Then you would have simply have just chosen the right option. So instead of looking for left, you are going to look for right. It's exactly the same concept. What is the text that you are looking for? And how many numbers from the right are you looking for? And it's going to give you the last six digits from the, from the right. And if it was mid, in the middle, for example, then you would just choose mid. What text are you looking for? This text. What number must we start with? You're going to start the number with number one. And the number of characters that you're looking for is six. There we go. So the first digits from, so it, they are looking for the middle digit from the first character. If you said you're looking for the first six digits from the, from the seventh character, for example, that is what the answer would have been. Five, two, zero, five. There you have it. So that is left, right, and mid um, in a nutshell. So I'm just going to delete this answer and I'm going to insert the correct answer there. Remember, it was left. So we're looking for this text and I want six digits from the left. Thank you very much. Copy the formula down. Now we're going to do an if calculation. So if this number is five, then it must be a male or the word male must be displayed. And if it's not a five, the word female must be displayed. So we know this is an if calculation. So I'm just going to type in the if. But remember, if is a logical function. So under logical, you will also find if. So the logical test is, the logical test is, if the code in that cell is equal to a 5. If that is in fact a 5, then please display the word male. If it's not a 5, please display the word female. Sorry, female. Click OK and copy the formula down. How many work shifts were missed? So we need to go and count the work shifts that were not worked. This person, M. Isaacs, worked Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but didn't work on Saturday. So this person missed one work shift, for example. E. Williams missed two work shifts. The same with Dubula, Dubela, sorry. And yeah, and the last one, Traba, missed one. So we want to have that answer displayed. And we're going to use a count function and we're going to use the count blank function. In other words, only count the blank cells. So it's equals count open bracket, sorry, equals count blank. There's my obsessed the formula. If I don't want to type it in manually, I can always use the insert function and look for the count options and there's all my count options that I have. I have count, count A, count if and we're going to do a count if later on in a different video but I'm specifically looking now for count blank. If I can't find, now oh, there is count blank quiet at the bottom. So count blank and count blank is asking me okay what is the range? What is the range? All right and then you select the range and then you click OK and then you copy the formula down and then all right so those were text functions in a nutshell students um, 
there are quite a lot more text function activities that you can still make use of if you have the textbook the succeed in computer practice in six textbook there's more activities and then you can always download extra resource activities from the oxford university press website from the learning zone where you can download more activities and tutorials so thank you so much for watching students join me in the next video where i will be explaining more if calculations